function whose domain and the range are sets of real numbers can also be defined by a graph. The graph of the function f is the set of all the points x and y, where x is in the domain of f and y is the f of x. So point a, b is on the graph of a function f, if and only if b is f of a. We'll talk about graphs in the lesson two, but now we'll just learn how to recognize a graph and how to recognize that this is the graph of a function. Because functions allow for every x only one value of y, we can expect only one point on the graph of a function that has x coordinate x. Therefore, we have easy way to determine whether a given graph is the graph of the function. It is called, the test is called the vertical line test and it says that if every vertical line crosses the graph of given graph at most at one point, then this graph represents a function. So let's look at two examples. In the first example, if I draw a vertical line, say in this place, you can clearly see that this vertical line will cross the graph at two points. And therefore, this graph fails the vertical line test, fails the vertical line test, and therefore it is not a function. Now, the second graph, for the second graph, if I draw a vertical line in multiple places, you can see that no matter where I draw that line, the, the vertical line will cross the graph at one point. And therefore, for every x, I will have only one value of y. This graph passes the vertical line test. And therefore, it, this graph represents a function. 